These headlines this morning. Here's what else you need to know to start your day before you head out of the door. This is our top story. This half hour, a Georgia man who is accused of shooting seven people in Atlanta has now turned himself into authorities. We want you to take a look at your screen. Police say this man, a 21 year old Pharaoh Williams, opened fire into a crowd after a fight broke out over the weekend, injuring seven people. Williams is currently being held on a $10,000 bond and is facing several charges, including seven counts of aggravated assault. Now continue taking a look at your screen. Look at this video. Just wow. This is video from Western Argentina of a major fire that caused an explosion at a paint factory there. And that was yesterday. Firefighters confirmed that there were no deaths or injuries reported. That's the good news. But the business was engulfed by that blaze. And starting today, El Salvador will become the world's first country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. The plan was spearheaded by the country's president, aiming to allow residents to save $400 million spent annually in commissions. This announcement comes after the country signed the Bitcoin law, and that was back in June. Citizens will also be able to download an app created by the government, which will deliver $30 worth of Bitcoin to people to promote its use. Well, now to some baby news this morning. We love this. Look at your screen. Rapper Cardi B is introducing the world to the newest member of her family. The 28-year-old posted a photo on social media of her, her and her husband offset with their new bundle of joy. And this was yesterday. The newborn was wrapped in a blue blanket and Cardi's post included a blue heart. The couple told people that the baby is indeed a boy. And Mike, I love baby news. I don't have kids, but I love to see a happy, healthy baby, especially for Cardi B and Offset. Cardi just yeah. deserves it. She already has her three-year-old culture, and now culture has a little brother. I love to see it. I, I can't wait to hear what the baby's name is going to be. And you do have a baby. <laughs> Josh is your baby. I do have Josh. I do. I do. But it's so interesting because it's, it's one of those conversations because you see so many people you went to school with and stuff. They're having babies and they're like, oh, when are you to have babies? I'm like, I'm not even married yet. Like, we got to <laughs> pump, pump the brakes. But I do feel like I love to see the little bundles of joy. And I love to see a happy and healthy baby, especially after like this year. You... you know, they talk about the pandemic babies and... Oh, well, that that's, that's that happens. Yeah, there's that's what a lot they of say. people that was cuddled up. And you know, in that quarantine, kind of, you <laughs> had nothing else say. to do. You couldn't go outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you was going to eat a lot, and you was going to do a lot. Um, I bet you, uh, uh, um, <laughs> unlike Kevin's mama's fake Dooney and Burke, I bet you that Louis Vuitton blanket they had was real. Oh, that was real, real. That was the realest of the real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Thanks, Lauren. Appreciate that.